Sometimes you want a good laugh, but don't want to deal with the plot. Forget about the characters. Let's just get to the jokes. And that's where stand-up comedy comes in. With less of a need to appeal to a large audience, the Netflix original stand-up specials are today's best comedians being 100% themselves. Plus, they've got a wide variety of classic stand-up specials to supplement the laughs while you're waiting for the new laughs to drop. We've tried our best to pick some standouts, so here's five that should rise to the top of your watch list. Police got a chokehold they use out here though, man. They choke to death. That mean you be dead when they through. Right, you, did you know that? Wait, the is going, yeah, we know why. No, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, two grab your legs, one grab your head, it'll snap. Oh, sh he broke. With Netflix's commitment to stand up these last few years, it's fitting that Richard Pryor Live in Concert is available to stream. The first stand up special ever to be released in theaters. You'd be hard pressed to find a comedian who doesn't cite this performance as a huge inspiration. Released in 1979, this was arguably the height of Pryor's career and power as a performer. And his honest and open look at himself and the world that surrounds him is truly remarkable. We were walking and just talking about something, and a car sped around the corner, and the window came down, and somebody threw a snowball and hit me right in my shoulder. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Why was this happening? Because I am black, because she's Muslim, because I'm Dave Chappelle. I couldn't tell. But again, <laughs> I knew it was premeditated. Because who the f has a snowball and a warm car? Okay, so this is two specials, but it's hard to separate the two sets that mark Dave Chappelle's return to the limelight, so they've been rolled into one. They both feature the return of a comedian whose influential Chappelle's show was the main voice of exploration into America's complicated racial landscape for many latter-day millennials. And yet, what makes these new specials so funny is Chappelle's self-reflection rather than his holding up a mirror to society. He's sometimes painfully out of touch with the modern landscape, perhaps offensively so, but the key is that he admits it and thereby opens a conversation the same way Chappelle's show used to. I, I do think I have to quit comedy though. And seriously, uh, and it's probably not the forum to make such an announcement, is it? <laughs> In many ways, Nanette isn't a comedy special at all. Sure, it's funny, but it's also a deeply personal spoken essay about how comedy can be damaging to oneself and those listening, particularly when you're self-deprecating and not a straight white male. Gadsby's exploration of her role in comedy and her life experiences as a lesbian, including the ponderance of giving up comedy altogether, results in an affecting experience that is comedy in the sense that it's labeled as such, but it's truly so much more. I don't like. I don't believe in preparing. I don't. I personally don't really like preparers. Um, they're annoying people generally. Like you know what, what's like? Hey, I, I really prepared for this. Well, you're a coward. Fans of Marin's WTF podcast will find themselves right at home in Thinky Pain, with the stream of consciousness style of this special being akin to the podcast's opening segments. Marin reflects on his personal shortcomings and insecurities with his family, career, and personal relationships with a surprisingly gentle and intimate conversation that is at once relatable and remarkably clever. This is Mark Marin at his best. So I always put my arm here so you guys will be like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this comedian's probably gonna be telling it like it is. <laughs> like to get you in the right zone. <laughs> I just wish I was someone else. Brooklyn Nine-Nine's Chelsea Peretti has a lot of fun with the stand-up special formula in One of the Greats, offering up a comical introduction full of fake old specials that look and feel like they're taken from different points of her career. She also spices things up during her act itself by talking about the stand-up pose and doing some prop comedy for good measure. It's a relatively meta experience anchored by the charisma and quickness of Peretti, showcasing her comedy stylings in a grandiose, hilarious way. And that's our roundup of some of the best comedy specials on Netflix right now. Let us know in the comments if we missed one of your favorites. Be sure to also check out our full article on IGN with even more comedy specials on Netflix. And if after all this comedy, you're feeling like watching some dramas, our recommendations on dramas you should watch on Netflix. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.